Nathan Del Porto, that's a big win in the context of the season. Yes, yeah, massive. Um, we've been working very, really hard. Um, it's been a frustrating period for us all. I'm um, determined to get it and um, could see how hard the boys work today. And um, we're glad to get the three points. Dreadful conditions. The game had nil nil written all over it for a long time, but you soon changed all that. Talk us through it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it was difficult out there. Buggy pitch, heavy pitch. Um, obviously, with the wind and the rain as well, a little bit as well, which made it a bit difficult for both teams. But I thought we managed to try and keep kept going. Um, we, we knew it was going to be difficult to go and play a lot of match football, and I kind of think we were still attempts to try and do it. Um, but I thought we mixed it up um, quite well today and um, it pulled off. And um, thankfully, I was able to help the team um, go and get the points. Yeah. You looked to shift it out of your feet at least three times before you stuck it away. Are you trying to put the agony on us? Yeah, I apologise for that. <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise. No, um, I'm, I'm a confident, I'm a confident um, guy and it's new. It was just a few times where I thought I can do it now, but I thought, you know, I'll just relax, just calm, and make sure, and I wanted to make sure I'm running back in that because for me, it's been a bit frustrating lately. And, um, and that's, that's going to get up around the back and now it's down to me to go and um, continue and move forward. Your all round performance today, very, very bright. What about the one you've taken out on this near touchline earlier? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was very surprised not to get anything <laughs> for it. Um, when I turned around for by the time I turned around for the referee was going to give it a free kick, but hey, it's part of the game. Um, I would like to get a free kick, but I didn't, so I've got to get up and go with it. In recent weeks, you've been conceding goals at bad times, but today you scored them at good times because the second one came pretty soon after yours. Yeah, I felt. Um, I feel in recent weeks we've gone in, gone into half time. We've been going going in half time down, and um, we've been having to try and come up come up with something in the second half. I think we've given teams um, a goal or two ahead, and we've had to try and work extra hard to try and get back into the game. But today we were, we were strong um, throughout. I thought we were very consistent throughout. Um, I would have liked to have done better with um, the goal we did because we would have liked to have come out with a clean sheet. But I think the fact that we won the love gave us something. I think no, we've got something to hold on to. Yeah? We've got something to go and play for. In fact, I think the confidence was raised. We've got to be in one nil up. And um, it's going to get a second so soon after. We can tell like, all the boys a good feel with the boys. And um, the hard work, everyone was determined to go and make sure we kept it. And um, we worked out for today. I've asked your manager this, but I will ask you is it easier these days with the home record as it is to play away from Bloomfield Road? Um, I can't really say that. I mean, um, obviously, there's we get, we've been getting a good following um, away from home, and um, I'd like to thank everyone that came today. The support was brilliant. I thought it was singing throughout, and um, I'm really grateful, and we're all grateful for the support that we've got today. Um, it's more we've got to get on with it. Everyone knows the situation. We've got to get on with it where we're home or away, and um, it's, it's down to us to go on the pitch and go and perform, and whether that's at a Bloomfield or whether it's away from home. And, um, Today, I think we did that and um, we thank, thank all for going home three points.